have dodged death so many times. Oswald, you can't just die like this. Please, sir. I need help bad. What's going on? I'm Blight, sir. Newton Blight. I've lost my mate. Can't find him anywhere. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. Please, calm down and give me more details. Oswald and myself were both infantry, sir. We were en route for the hospital, but... Well, we had a disagreement. And Oswald ran off towards the canal. How long have you been searching for him? I, ca I can't go there. Too many rats by the water. Fucking rats. Can't stand them since the war, sir. Can't stand them at all. Don't be ashamed, Mr. Blight. Many soldiers who survived the trenches suffer from musophobia. I'll see what I can do for your friend. What can you tell me about yourself? I'm Oswald's best friend. We served in the same regiment, sir. We've taken care of each other since we came back from the front. What can you tell me about your friend? His name is Oswald Thatcher. We survived the war together. Oswald is... nervous and quite fragile since we came back from the war. This is a dangerous part of town. What are you doing here? We were looking for the Pembroke Hospital. He... We both need help. T treatment, I mean. To get some sleep. Just need to feel better, sir. Where was your friend the last time you saw him? He went down by the canal. He didn't want to go to the hospital. I think he went to the sewers on purpose. So I couldn't go after him. I have all the information I need for now. If I find anything out about your friend, I'll let you know as soon as I can. Thank you, Dr. Reed. This man has been savagely attacked and dragged to the floor. Are you injured, sir? Help me get out of here! I need to get out! I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd be glad to help you, but you must calm down first. Please, take a deep breath and tell me your name. Okay. Okay, I I'm Oswald Thatcher. Please, I need to get out! Mr. Thatcher, your friend Newton sent me to help you. Do you remember him? Yes. Yes, I do. Good. Now leave this place and enjoy the cool night air. It's quite invigorating. I'm sure you'll feel better if you do.
Sometimes you act like a real jerk, you know that? Oh, come on, Ozzy, don't be like that. What, like what? Like someone who felt betrayed by the man he loves. Did you ever even try to find me? Rescue me? You know, it's not like that. I wanted to. I was so afraid to leave the hospital, not to be seen with you. We survived this shit together. That's all that matters. I know you did your best. Fuck the wall, right? I fuck them all. Fuck the wall. Fuck them all. Hello again, Mr. Thatcher. Do you feel any better now? Yes. This neighborhood may stink of dog shit and reek of piss, but to me it smells like the purest mountain air. Mr. Thatcher, do you have a job? No. Since I came back from the war, I spent most of my time and energy just trying to forget. I understand what you mean. I was a soldier too. No. Nobody can truly understand what I've gone through. Why were you locked in that sewer? What happened? I went by the canal after an argument with a friend. Got chased by these fucking wankers and had to barricade myself in, despite my claustrophobia. Tell me about your claustrophobia. Has anyone given you an official diagnosis? <sighs> That's what the bloody doctors said. But I don't want to go to a hospital to get checked again. I'll deal with it my own way. Why did you run? What was the reason for your argument? Newton wanted me to go to a hospital. I can't stand being closed in. It makes me feel like I'm suffocating. Oswald, why did you not go to the Pembroke Hospital to seek medical help? I don't trust doctors. All they care about was their careers and processes. I won't be locked in any room again by anyone. Your fear of being trapped is not going to go away by itself. You need professional help. I've seen enough butchers in white coats to last a lifetime. Hospitals reek of chemicals and death. What I need is fresh air. Do you want to talk about why you have this fear of being enclosed, Mr. Thatcher? No, I really don't. An irrational fear like yours is usually rooted in a specific event. Perhaps it would help to talk about it. Well, Doctor, take a guess then, if you're so interested in my case. When I rescued you, you expressed joy at seeing the sky again. So I'm inclined to believe you were trapped or buried somehow. Maybe during a shelling. Jeez, you're good, Doc. You're really good. Go on, please. Tell me more about it. Newton and I were trapped in a circulation tunnel after an artillery attack. We were buried alive for several days without ever knowing if we'd be found. Oswald, tell me about what happened when you were buried in that tunnel with Newton. It was more than dark. It was black as pitch. Hours seemed like days. Days like months. Oh, the terror. The shameful thoughts. Lord have mercy. Shameful thoughts? Tell me about them. At some point, I don't remember which day, but when I thought we'd never be rescued, that this would be our end, I thought, I thought about, I thought about... <laughs> say it, Mr. Thatcher. If you ever want to heal, you have to say it. I thought about what I could do to survive. Just for a few more days. I thought about killing Newton. Killing and eating him. The man I fucking love. What you endured was terrifying. It would have completely destroyed weaker men. It did not destroy Newton. Tell me about your true feelings for Newton. I love him. I'm not ashamed to say it. He's the best thing that ever happened to me. I can't imagine life without him. Why should you be ashamed? I'm not, I said. But Newton sees it differently. I admire your honesty. It takes courage to stand up to society. The world needs people like you to create change. Courage is what we needed in the trenches, looking death in the face every day. I speak plain. I speak my mind. Have you always been this straightforward? All I know is, before you saved me by the sewer, 
My only regret was I wouldn't be able to hold or kiss Newton again. I love him, that's all. Goodbye, Mr. Thatcher. Try to take care of yourself. Hello again, Mr. Blight. I'm happy to see Mr. Thatcher is safe, for now. I'm eternally grateful, Doctor. We were total strangers and you helped us anyway. Can't thank you enough, sir. Why do you stay here now that Mr. Thatcher's back? It's complicated. Since the war, Oswald's been really nervous with the idea of entering any hospital. And me. Issues. Can you speak about them? Rats, sir. Even seeing one, they turn me. Just want to run. It's that fear that stopped me from going after Oswald when he left. What can you tell me about the war, Mr. Blight? If you want to speak about it, of course. War was... Well, you know, sir. The stench of death everywhere. Your mate's lying, bleeding in the mud. Just praying to make it through and get home. Bloody nightmare. Did you know Oswald Thatcher before the war? No. We met in the battlefield. I think we were in the same boat to France. We've stuck together ever since. I fought in France, too. I served as a field surgeon. But it was not uncommon to repel an assault, especially at night. Yeah. The first time I was wounded, I had to protect the infirmary from hostiles. Twice. You are always welcome at the Pembroke Hospital. As a former officer, I'll be honored to welcome a fellow veteran. I'm not giving up on bringing Oswald back to the hospital. I just need to convince him that he needs some help. Perhaps he needs to reach that decision by himself. Could you speak to him? He doesn't usually listen to doctors, but perhaps because you've been through it, you can talk him round. What caused your phobia of rats, Newton? It happened last year following an artillery attack. I was trapped for two days in a hole under two dead soldiers. And there were rats. Go on. It started eating me as soon as I dozed. Gnawing at my ears, my fingers, lips. I couldn't move. I couldn't call for help. I see. No, you don't. You have no idea what it is to wake up buried under bodies. Fucking vermin eating your flesh. Oswald, he found me and saved me. You and Oswald were buried alive during the war. Tell me about it. Yeah. It was last summer. A shell hit our trench and we were buried for a week. How did you survive for a week? Luckily for us, there were rations and water in the tunnel. It was an outpost, see? Since then, Oswald's not keen on being inside for too long. Oswald seemed far more traumatized than you by the event. It wasn't the first time it happened to me. Surviving it again gave me strength. You believe that? How do you feel about Oswald Thatcher? You are more than friends, aren't you? I, I love him. I love Oswald. We knew we wouldn't survive the war without each other. I am terrified, Doctor. What frightens you so much? What people find out? Oswald says I'm ashamed, but it ain't that. It's more, well... You know... I never thought I'd love a man. Enjoy your love. And enjoy life as long as you can, Mr. Blight. Don't let anyone tell you who you should love, or how you should love them. I appreciate your kind words, sir. But it ain't that easy. It's all so new to me. Goodbye, Mr. Blight. Take care of yourself. Good evening. Evening, Dr. Reed. 
Newton is conflicted about his feelings towards you. Would you like to talk about it, Oswald? It makes me sad and angry. It feels like the beautiful thing we have is somehow tainted. It hurts to see him so lost. His love for you is genuine. I'm certain he wasn't lying to me when he expressed his feelings for you. Newton still has to accept it, knowing he'll be seen as a queer, a fairy, less than a man in those simple-minded bigots' eyes. Though he's more of a man than they'll ever be, so fuck them all. Goodbye, Mr. Thatcher. Try to take care of yourself.